Hey guys, this is my first video. Um, this is a video that teaches you how to make an amazing program called a batch file. You can use them for pranks. I know I've done my fair share of pranks with them. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a prank that Rick rolls you when you activate it. Now, first it uses a simple program that comes on every computer called Notepad. For those of you who don't know much about it, the symbol looks like this. And to get to it, you go to all, if you don't have it already up there, you go to all programs, accessories, and it will be right there. Uh, okay, so you pull up Notepad. Now, some people may think, how are you going to make a batch file with Notepad? Now, if you, I'm not going to give you very detailed instructions on how this works. But if you want, you should go to and ask another person. But I am going to show you how to make one. First, you must type in at, the A at symbol, and then echo space off. What this does is it gets rid of interference so that it doesn't mess up when in the middle of it. Then you type in start, and then you enter in this link right here. This link will bring up the a very annoying um, website that is a Rickroll, and you'll I'll show you really quick. But when you save it the most important thing is first name it anything you want and then I'm gonna call it Rickroll2 but then you gotta type in dot bat b a t at the end of every single one dot bat what this does is actually turns it into a batch file see look Rickroll to dot bat. It's a batch file. It's that symbol means it's a batch file. You click on it, and okay. I turn off the sound for a second so I can explain this. Um, what this does is it's a site that. First off, has a bunch of heads that follow your mouse, and although the music and that will be annoying enough, to exit out is the most annoying. If if you have a bunch of tabs open, clo put like close tabs, or even if you just exit out right here, it will pull up a bunch of pop-ups that show the lyrics to the song. You have to exit out or press OK on every single one in order to exit out of sight. Otherwise, if you click anywhere else, it'll say you have to click on that do that little beep sound okay once you get to the end it will show a message and some people think it's an error message it's not an error message when it comes up I'll show you press ok and boom it's gone okay now some people will say who's going to click on that kind of file that's like that well I'm gonna teach you how to disguise it really quick First, you right click on it and you go create shortcut. Reason? This thing cannot change its icon. Um, it's just the way it was made. You right click on the shortcut, you go down to properties, and then you go down to change icon. You can change the icon for the shortcut. I'm going to make mine the Internet Explorer symbol, so when they're thinking they're getting on the Internet, and then, of course, you can rename it Internet, but then that would require you changing the name of the Internet. And then you, another important fact is you must move the Internet symbol, in, the normal Internet, into an empty folder so that they don't see it and notice that there's something up. So now that you got this up, you rename it Internet, which I'm not going to go through yet. And then when they double-click on it, it will, uh, first, and then when you double-click on it, it will Rickroll them. Okay, this is my video. Have fun pranking and Zergling50 signing out.